Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Carla with Race to Walk, and this is an announcement video for the George MacDonald issue of An Unexpected Journal. But before we get started, a little bit about this channel. Here we share good thoughts about good words, and on Fridays, I host a live Bible study on Instagram at Race to Walk, and then I publish two videos a week. I publish a replay of that Bible study with some studies as well as a video about books. So if you are interested in either of those things, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you can get updates about new videos. I mentioned quite a few times that I work on an unexpected journal with some other friends that I met in the apologetics program at Houston Baptist University, and we publish a quarterly journal on different topics. So we started the journal in, in 2018, and our admin issue, the one that comes out in December, has really kind of come to be sort of a, um, a celebratory issue about a particular apologist or writer. So our first admin issue in 2018 honored one of our professors, Dr. Michael Ward, and as it was the 10th anniversary of his book, Planet Narnia, Last year, we did one on G.K. Chesterton, which was, I love the cover on it. It's so amazing. And this year is on George MacDonald. And if you don't know who he is, you should. He is was an amazing writer. He was born in Scotland in 1824. And he um, was originally like a minister, but he was not a Calvinist in a very Calvinistic Scotland. And so they didn't like his theology. Um, they were trying to get in his first church, they were trying to get rid of him because they didn't like the things he had to say and they cut his, his salary in half until, you know, it just got to the point where he had, to. he basically supported himself with different jobs. He lectured, he wrote, he had some patrons that supported his, his work, but his book, Fantasties, is considered the first fantasy novel. And fantasy is such a big genre right now, but so few people know who really is kind of the father of modern fantasy. I went back and I looked at, um, if you look on his Wikipedia entry, you'll see a whole list of people that he his work influenced. Um, now, I'm not going to read all of them because you might not, you probably wouldn't recognize all their names. He was friends with Lewis Carroll, and Lewis Carroll actually read Alice in Wonderland to George MacDonald's children. He influenced Mark Twain, Frank Baum, who wrote... The Wizard of Oz, Lloyd Alexander. I have a review on one of his books, um, The Castle of Lure. He was a big influence there. Uh, G.K. Chesterton. MacDonald was a huge influence on all of the Inklings, including you know C.S. Lewis, the Madeline Le, uh, Le Ingle. As far as modern authors, uh, Neil Gaiman actually cites him as one of his major influences, which I think is really interesting. I have another uh, video called... Uh, the book that changed C.S. Lewis's life, C.S. Lewis really kind of credits him with um, putting him on the path to God. And he has, and you see that in all of Lewis's work, that uh, he really references George MacDonald a lot. And this is a quote uh, from C.S. Lewis. I have never concealed the fact that I regarded him as my master. Indeed, I fancy I have never written a book in which I did not quote from him. So for the journal and the apologetics program at HBU in general, it's really focuses a lot on the works of C.S. Lewis. So what better to do an issue on than the person who had such a big impact on C.S. Lewis? So there's a lot of um, really interesting essays, and I think that you'll really enjoy it. Um, I am going to, I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to pre-order the book, the digital version. So if you watch my videos, I've actually been mentioning George MacDonald a lot just because when I was writing my essay for it, so my first introduction to George MacDonald was his fairy tales. And I think, I don't know which book it was, but it was either The Princess and the Goblin or The Princess and Curdie. And so I wanted to write an essay featuring that because, you know, I know that a lot of people aren't familiar with him. I actually wrote an essay on The Princess and the Goblin. And when I was researching it, I came across a sermon of his that really tied in really well. And so if you've been watching my other videos, I actually included that sermon in my last Bible study because it really tied into, you know, the light and the lamp and really what faith is. And uh, so I'll link to that. I also just published a reading of that sermon alone if you just want to listen to that to kind of get an idea of like who George MacDonald was and his thoughts and he was really about like living out our faith. Faith isn't just in the head. It, it has to you know, come from the heart and permeate our whole self. So I hope that this, this edition gives you 
um, insight to who George MacDonald was as a writer and maybe encourages you to read a little bit more of his work. I have a page on my website with more um, where you can find some uh, some of George MacDonald's works because sometimes it's actually kind of hard to find good copies of his stuff. I also have a playlist, a George MacDonald playlist, because I've mentioned him several times. I've, he comes up in a lot of my list videos. And so anyway, I'll link to that as well. So make sure you follow me on social media so you can get the first announcement of when it actually launches. And also you can go to unexpectedjournal.com and sign up for the newsletter. Um, you, follow, you can also follow the journal on Facebook and Twitter so you can get get first first dibs on when the issue launches. And so if there's any piece that you think that is just really amazing, you know, be sure to share it with your friends, buy copies, give them as gifts. All that really helps us out. But thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.